My name is Beth Clarkson and I'm a statistician. Uh, professionally, I, I work at the National Institute for Aviation Research, although my employment has nothing to do with this particular project. My concern is with regards to the uh, electronic election or electronic voting machines that we use to register our votes. Uh, it's across the nation, but right here in Sedgwick County where I live is where I have filed a lawsuit to try and get access to what are called real-time audit logs of the voting machines. I have concerns about the election results as reported by these electronic voting machines and the only way to verify that they are correct is if you do an audit of these real-time audit logs versus the uh, reports results reported by the uh, machines per precinct. And that's never been done here in Sedgwick County. I'm not sure it's ever been done anywhere, but uh, there are issues with, uh, with the results. And, and the reason that I'm seeking to do this, that I'm devoting my own time and expense to trying to get a hold of these records and take a look at them is because the statistical analysis of voting results show an indication of election rigging. It's not that the statistics prove election rigging because you can never prove anything with statistics. You can only ever um, show that a pattern or a relationship exists. And there's definitely a pattern or, or relationship between the size of a precinct and the percent of the Republican vote that uh, registered for that precinct. And uh, I want to start with looking at a, a chart of the analysis for the Wisconsin 2014 governor results. In this graph, that long green line in the center of the graph that is exactly what we expect to see when there's no relationship between the precinct size and the percent of the Republican vote. And in this particular case, that green line represents no electronic machines were used. Those are the precincts that didn't have any electronic voting machines. And it's exactly what we expect to see. When you look at the results by electronic voting machine, by the type of the machine, what you see is a very definitive pattern showing that as the size of the precinct increases, the percent of the Republican vote goes up. And there's not any demographic explanation for why this would occur. In fact, what we know about demographics is that rural areas tend to be more uh, heavily Republican than the urban areas. And we also expect rural precincts to be smaller than urban precincts. That, that is, there are fewer votes cast there. So if we saw a p pattern showing a decrease in the percent Republican vote with the size of the precinct, that would be normal and expected. What we see is the opposite. And with this chart, it clearly shows that it's only for these electronic voting machines that we see this pattern. When there's no electronic voting machines used, we see exactly what we expect to see with no relationship between the precinct size and the percent of the Republican vote. This is a pattern that's repeated across the nation in all kinds of elections, but it isn't always to the Republican's benefit. If you look at the Ohio 2012 presidential race results, there are two types of voting machines that show a distinct downward trend for the percent Republican vote. And while this could be explained by uh, a pattern of, of more heavily Democratic districts in those areas, there was also a rumor that the anonymous hacking group had threatened to uh, subvert the voting machines in Ohio for President Obama. And the data, as I read it, is completely consistent with that hypothesis, not to mention that there are other types of voting machines that show the more typical increase for the Republicans as a result of an increase in precinct size. And so we have a pattern, a relationship that our statistics have, have shown us, and we have no explanation for that, other than a potential for election fraud. 
and that seriously concerns me and that's why I'm trying to get a hold of these real-time audit logs for the machines used in Sedgwick County. I have now filed a lawsuit against Chris Kobach, our Secretary of State, and Tabitha Lehman, who's the Sedgwick County Elections Commissioner, to request uh, access to those real-time audit logs and conduct an actual audit of the Sedgwick County voting machines and see whether or not those tapes, the results on those paper tapes match up with the electronically tabulated results as reported officially. If I do win, if I'm able to successfully get access to these real-time audit logs, it's a very time-consuming, labor-intensive process to run an audit. I, I wouldn't run a, an audit of the entire county, but I would like to do at least two or three different voting uh, stations. Voting stations here in Sedgwick County typically uh, contain multiple precincts. So I think two or three voting stations would be sufficient, but I'm still going to need a lot of, of additional help to review all of those machine tapes. They are extensive. Every keystroke that a voter makes, even to, to change votes, everything that a, a voter does on those machines is recorded as the voter does it. That's why they're called real-time. And that's what makes them possible to, to use those to conduct an audit. I'm hoping that I will be able to photograph or rather scan in the real-time audit log tapes and separate them uh, one ballot uh, at a time and then provide them to people to look over and give me their results back so that we get sort of a sort of a crowdsourcing assessment of the results of the audit. For further information uh, you can go to my website BethClarkson.com and also you can visit my YouTube channel for more videos on this subject.